Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm, Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal, Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time, Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in our Eucharistic celebration today, our Lord Jesus teaches us that God's forgiveness should teach us humility. And so at the beginning of this celebration, with humility in our hearts, let us first acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May your grace not forsake us, O Lord, we pray but make us dedicated to your holy service and at all times obtain for us your help. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Azariah stood up in the fire and prayed aloud. For your name's sake, O Lord, do not deliver us up forever or make void your covenant. Do not take away your mercy from us for the sake of Abraham, your beloved, Isaac, your servant, and Israel, your Holy One, to whom you promise to multiply their offspring like the stars of heaven or the sand on the shore of the sea. 
For we are reduced, O Lord, beyond any other nation, brought low everywhere in the world this day because of our sins. We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader, no burnt offering, sacrifice, oblation, or incense, no place to offer first fruits to find favor with you. But with contrite heart and humble spirit, let us be received as though it were burnt offerings of rams and bullocks or thousands of fat lumps. So let our sacrifice be in your presence today as we follow you unreservedly. For those who trust in you cannot be put to shame. And now we follow you with our whole heart. We fear you and we pray to you. Do not let us be put to shame, but deal with us in your kindness and great mercy. Deliver us by your wonders and bring glory to your name, O Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are off from old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Please stand. Magsisitayo matapos Halin ang pagbalik loob Sa mapagpatawad na Diyos Sa Kanya tayo'y tumulog At manumbalik na lubos The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, 
he had him put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now, when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the parable of Jesus today teaches us not only about forgiveness, but about the important virtue of humility. God's forgiveness should teach us humility. Ang pagpapatawad ng Diyos ay dapat magturo sa atin ng kapakumbabaan. Yesterday, as I was trying to read a biblical commentary about this passage, I found this <clears throat> detail interesting. Magkano nga ba yung utang ng mga servant sa kwento? According to the biblical commentators, the first servant who owed a huge amount was 10,000 talents according to other translations. How much is 10,000 talents in our time? The biblical commentator said, a talent is the biggest money at that time. And when you say 10,000 in the Bible, it is the biggest amount. So 10,000 10, talents may be today, if not millions, billions. But the other servant only owed him one denarius, which means one day's wage. Yung isa, ang utang niya ay milyon-milyon. Yung isa, ang utang niya ay yung isang araw lamang na sahod. Pero yung taong milyon-milyon ang utang, siya pa ang mas mayabang kaysa doong tao na mas maliit ang utang. Jesus teaches us about humility. Forgiveness should teach us humility. Minsan kasi makikita natin sa buhay natin kung sino pa ang mas malaki ang utang, siya pa ang mas malupit sa kapwa niya tao. Forgiveness should teach us humility. That is why in our first reading today from the book of the prophet Daniel, this is what Israel learned when they were exiled in Persia. Azariah stood up and in his prayer said to God, We have in our day no prince, prophet, or leader. Israel was a great kingdom, but they were bowed down. They were conquered. 
and in their prayer they said, Lord, our riches are gone, our power and treasures are gone. Therefore, our only offering to you is our contrite and humbled hearts. Forgiveness should teach us humility. Kaya mga kapatid, sa araw po na ito, hindi lamang po tayo tinuturuan ng Diyos magbayad ng utang. Kasama po yan. Pero dapat ang pagpapatawad ng Diyos na ating tinatanggap ay magturo sa atin ng kapakumbabaan. May our celebration today of this Eucharist teach us that God's forgiveness should make us humble. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray to God that we, His people, who have experienced His forgiveness, may bring the joy of reconciliation to the world. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church, set free by the blood of Christ, may live in harmony and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christian churches may be brought together in the unity of the one gospel of love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That married couples may learn to forgive and understand one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all of us may learn the mercy of Jesus and forgive one another from the heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the faithful departed may enjoy the peace of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, sustain us always with your love and mercy and help us to offer forgiveness to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that this saving sacrifice 
may cleanse us of our faults and become an oblation pleasing to your almighty power. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, 
and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the holy partaking of this mystery give us life, O Lord, we pray, and grant us both pardon and protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. O God, founder and ruler of your people, drive away the sins that assail them, that they may always be pleasing to you and ever safe under your protection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Santa Maria, Reina ng Sanlibutan, nakatawot sa krus ni Jesu Cristo, Thank you.